Okay, so I'm just going to solder up the other side of the pack. While I'm busy doing that, I thought I'd answer some questions about why I'm doing this project. Several reasons. Part of my efforts to manage my carbon footprint is to not fly, not own a car, and use solar power to run electrical stuff around the house. I've got some solar panels. Um, currently got some grid tie inverters, so I'm feeding back into the grid. It would be much better if I could store the solar power I get in the middle of the day into some decent battery pack and then run stuff at night. Also, I really love finding useful things to do with stuff that other people throw away. Um, it's always really disheartening when I go to the rubbish tip or the transfer station and see all the mountains of perfectly useful stuff being discarded. Most of that stuff required a lot of time and energy and materials to create and it's just completely wasted when it's thrown away. Now that's interesting. That's very interesting. That just burnt a part on its own. Why? Oh my god! Wow! That is it upside down. It is too. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. Um, I just discovered I put a ceiling upside down. Shit. Well, uh, <laughs> the fuse works. The fuse works really well. Bloody hell. Okay, I better fix that. There it is there, upside down. Yeah. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. I might just double check I've got everything up the right way. Yes, yes, yes. Phew. Why use pairs of cells rather than single cells? Short answer is to save time. Building a large pack only makes sense if it's cheaper in time and or money than buying a commercial pack. And testing single cells takes a lot longer than testing half the number of pairs. It's also worth thinking about the life story of a typical pair of laptop cells. The cells are made in the, in the same factory at the same time, in the same batch, then sold to a laptop manufacturer who takes them and spot welds them together in pairs and then welds the pairs into series. And then the pairs have been basically, they've been pairs their whole lives. It um, doesn't make any sense to me to then pull them apart, test them, and then weld them back together again, because that's what I'll be doing, put them in, into even bigger pairs, larger number of pairs. Might as well save that whole pulling them apart and putting them back together again step entirely. So that's why I keep them in pairs. It just saves a lot of time and it doesn't seem to gain all that much. I've got a link at the 
in the description below to a YouTube clip by MJ Lawton who talks about the difference between charging batteries in parallel and charging batteries in series and it's when you've got batteries in series that things can go out of whack. When the batteries are all soldered in, in parallel, generally, there's not a problem. Holy crap! I've done it again! I don't believe it! Man, oh man! This one's upside down! Shit! If you're wondering why sometimes I seem to wiggle my soldering iron back and forth, I'm just helping to scrape slash burn off the enamel on this um, enamel wire that I'm using for fuses. It's quite thin wire so it has really thin enamel so it's reasonably easy to get rid of the enamel in order to make a good electrical connection and you can tell whether or not you've burnt it off, it'll flow nicely when it's when the enamel is burnt off. There'll be a nice solder flow effect. Whereas if you don't burn it off, the wire will just look like it's denting the solder rather than having the solder flow all over it. Lucky last. Here we go. Burn off the enamel. Give it a bit of a scratch to speed that up. Wait for the solder to solidify. And We're done. We are done with that stage. <laughs> okay. Wow. That is pretty cool. Two kilowatts. So the next step is going to be to add some connection cables, uh, plus and a minus. I'll probably put them both at one end and then once that's all good and solid then I will connect the groups up and I leave that till last. Once they're all connected up then it starts to get a little bit more dangerous so I want to leave that connection stage as late as possible. So, there we go.